Hey YouTube! Matt here with Maple Mountain Fireplace and today we're talking about Class A chimney pipe and your chimney pipe kit for DIY. Alright, so you're wanting to install a wood burning stove in your home. Number one step is you always want to start with your chimney pipe. Now, the part that supports your chimney pipe is the ceiling support box. This is a 12 by 12 box, and I believe it's about 18 inches deep. You have this depth to shield your attic insulation from falling into the pipe, and you want to cut a roughly 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter hole in your drywall and be able to mount this box into the ceiling of your home. So this is a vaulted ceiling box. It is made for a ceiling that has a slope. We also have a flat ceiling support box, but this can also be used for that flat ceiling support box. Here's the support box for a flat ceiling, and you can see it's round. If you have a flat ceiling, you can go round or square. If your ceiling is vaulted or at an angle, you've got to use the square box because the round won't adjust. Either way you go, both supports have a trim collar, so if you trim a little too much drywall, you've got a nice trim collar that will cover up any mistake. So round or here's the trim for your square box. Never ever ever cut a roof joist or a floor joist. It will compromise the structure of your home. Be very careful. Now in some cases if this is a 12 by 12 box we have had floor joists that were 12 inches on center giving you about 10 and a quarter inches of room in that scenario, you would either need to go out the wall or there is another brand that has a smaller box that we don't sell, but it is available. Okay, this is called your stovepipe adapter. This is the adapter to go from your Class A chimney pipe to your stovepipe, and it just slides in. So this would be in your ceiling support box Connected to the chimney, you can see the twist lock, how it connects to the chimney. And then transitions from chimney pipe to your black double wall or single wall stove pipe. Starting with your support box, that's in the ceiling. Obviously it's not, this it's on the table. The next step would be your chimney pipe with a stove pipe adapter connected to it would fit in the ceiling and then you run the pipe all the way up through the roof. So this pipe would then extend up through your roof with a roof flashing, storm collar, and then you need to follow the rule. So the rule for chimney pipe height is two feet higher than anything 10 feet away or a minimum of three feet out of the roof. So if you have a flat roof, you need at least three feet out of that roof. All right, TLC Merriment, why this is really good. Locking band, stainless steel inside and out up to 2100 degrees. It's easy to work with. It's easy to put together and all the parts are a nice transition from chimney to stovepipe, and everything fits together really well with this. I like it a lot, and so do our installers. So here at Maple Mountain Fireplace, we've made it really easy for you and put together a kit for you, which includes your support box, stovepipe adapter, chimney cap, chimney pipe, and also roof flashing with storm collar. The 
cap is also twist lock. You can get it nice and tight, easy to put on. Stove pipe adapter, we showed you how that goes together in the box. Now you may need a few additional items. We also have elbows. This is a 30 degree offset. You can add pipe in between. They come in a pair. You've got to have one to offset and then a return to bring it back vertically. We have 30 degree and 15 degree elbows. In Canada, they allow you to have a 45. In the US, it's either a 15 or a 30 is your maximum elbow for class A chimney pipe. Also included in the kit is your roof flashing. So this would go under the shingles. It is also adjustable up to a 612 pitch, down to a flat roof. We also have 612 up to a 1212 pitch. Now, along with your flashing, you also have a storm collar. You can see the flashing is vented to allow some heat to escape. And then this storm color goes around that. And then you silicone around the storm color, allowing for some airflow into your attic, but also sealing it up so it won't leak. We also have flashings that will adjust from a 612 all the way to a 1212. So we do have some steeper flashing options. One last thing to think about, chimney pipe is not universal so it is very brand specific only a Merivent TLC will fit with a Merivent TLC Simpson Duravent Metal Fab all these other brands are not made to fit together it is very proprietary so here it is everything you need for your horizontal or through your roof and ceiling kit for a chimney installation we have videos that show the actual installation, cutting the holes and cutting the roof and installing the flashing. Please watch those videos, subscribe, give us a like, make a comment. I promise we'll do our best to respond and be awesome.